Hello, welcome to Immigration Matters, provided to you by the Human Resources Department at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. In this short video, we're going to briefly discuss the options available to international faculty members seeking lawful permanent residence sponsorship. The first thing I would recommend is for new faculty to review the A&M system regulation, which pertains to the employment of the foreign national. This regulation discusses the sponsorship requirements for both the non-immigrant and the immigrant statuses. This regulation may also be helpful if you will supervise foreign national employees. Foreign nationals authorized to work with A&M generally hold one of the following statuses, H-1B for specialty occupation worker, J-1 for researchers and scholars, O-1 for aliens of extraordinary ability in the sciences and education, TN or NAFTA visas for Canadian and Mexican professionals. A&M also employs new grad F1 students holding employment authorization under the optional practical training program. Generally, after one year of employment and management approval, the international faculty becomes eligible for lawful permanent resident sponsorship under the first or second preference employment-based classifications. A&M regulations provide for the sponsorship of the first or second preference immigrant petition under the following classifications. The first preference immigrant petition known as the EB1 is for outstanding researchers and professors. This immigrant petition requires that the employer establish that the sponsored faculty member is internationally recognized as outstanding in his or her academic or scientific field and that he or she has made a significant contribution to that field. This petition is filed with the USCIS directly. This shortens the immigrant visa processing time by several months. However, not everyone is eligible for this type of immigrant visa. When you meet with your immigration coordinator, you will also be provided with detailed information that will include documentary evidence requirements, timelines, and costs associated with this classification. A&M also sponsors the second preference immigrant worker petition through the labor certification process. There is the regular labor certification known as PERM, generally utilized for staff members and professionals holding advanced degrees, and a second process known as a special handling labor certification for university teachers and professors. The type of immigrant visa that will be sponsored for you will be determined once the options and eligibility requirements for each one has been reviewed by your immigration coordinator. Once the EB-1 or EB-2 immigrant visa petition has been approved, the faculty member will be eligible to apply for adjustment of status and file the I-485 application for permanent residence or green card. Spouses and dependents under the age of 21 may also apply at this time. In some cases, because of visa retrogression, changes in immigration policy, and more recently, because of the health crises, this final step in the green card process may be slightly delayed. However, as an adjustment applicant, one is eligible for an employment authorization document and an advanced parole that will allow the foreign national to live and work in the United States 
and travel abroad while the adjustment of status is pending. As a new faculty member, you will be scheduled to meet with your immigration coordinator within the coming weeks. During this time, we will conduct an immigration overview to map out a plan to meet your immigration goals. My name is Norma Lozano, Immigration Coordinator at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. I look forward to working with you and I'm at your disposal should you have any questions on immigration matters. Thank you.